Hi everyone, today I'm going to teach you how to change the engine air filter of your Toyota Corolla. Before I come back, please click the subscribe button if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel. I'll be back. Hi everyone, a while back, probably like 20 years ago, I didn't know anything about cars, right? And then I went to a GV loop. I think that was the biggest mistake. Uh, the guy at the GV loop asked me, hey sir, would you like us to change your engine air filter for your Toyota Tercel? I had a Toyota Tercel. Uh, that was my first car and guess what? I got $89 bill, okay? On top of the $59 oil change. So I was like, 89? And I look at the parts. The part was only like nine bucks. So anyway, today I'm going to teach you how to change uh, the engine air filter of your your Toyota Corolla and it's really easy or uh, they like to do this to ladies especially because uh, when um, this honest mechanic look at ladies you know and then like female customer they look at you guys like hmm, I can rip you off because they think ladies cannot do anything but today I'm going, going to teach you ladies so you won't get ripped off anymore and you guys too who don't know how to do it it's really simple and today I'm going to upgrade my Toyota Corolla as a paper filter with the Canon air filter. I know some of you don't like it and please do not leave stupid comment on this video like oh the oil is gonna mess up the mass airflow sensor. I put it in my Jaguar. I have it in my uh, BMW so I never have a problem. So if you guys don't like Canon please do not leave stupid comment because I love Canon and it's been working well for me so just you know just leave this video. If you look at Canon and you don't like it I'm not forcing you to use it okay. But today I'm going to teach you guys, uh, for those of you who want to learn how to change the engine air filter, I will put two links. One is the paper air filter and one is the KNN. You don't have to uh, use KNN if you don't want to, but I will teach you how to do it. Anyway, uh, when I come back, let's get to it. I'll be back. Hi everyone, the engine air filter is located right here in the hood. And uh, the lever, it's right here you just have to um, pull it like that and then it will pop and then you just have to open it's, there's, there's a type right here come here Brenda. my daughter is here to help me right here do you see that you just have to press it uh, press up and then move it to the left this one right here see that to release this this is really heavy is super dangerous okay be careful it can hurt your head and even kill you so you want to put it right here this is very important make sure it's secure okay this thing can kill you so be careful super heavy and make sure you wear gloves so the engine air filter is located right here so there are two types right here one and two on the right side and the left side here so we're gonna release it and then this one to hold on where is that oh here there you go now and then you just move it forward there there you go oh look at that it's so dirty man yeah it's time to change this see it's super easy it doesn't make any sense to be charged 89 dollars oh my look at that it's dirty and the thing is, if you don't change this, it will affect the performance of your car. So yeah, oh, it's, the box is clean, so I'm going to open the k and I really like k and uh, It will give a little bit of uh, horsepower boost, probably around 3 to 5 horsepower. Not much, but it's better than nothing, right? I'll take uh, 3 to uh, 5 extra horsepower. So I'm just going to open this. Okay, this thing can last up to 100,000 miles. So you can get the Canon uh, recharging kit uh, and then uh, what do you call that? Oil it, but don't be overzealous when you oil this. Make sure you follow the instruction carefully. The thing is, if you put too much oil, some of the oil will you know, go all over the place. It may splash into the, the airflow sensor you know the mass airflow sensor that's what a lot of people are complaining about like they say oh do not use KNN it's okay look 
there is no oil that's gonna splash see that that I, that's why i don't like it when you know some people are you know writing stupid comment in the comment section they don't know what they're talking about i have can air filter in all my cars and i haven't had any problem the thing is i'm not like spraying the whole thing with oil okay and there is no oil splashing right now look nothing see that Th there is no oil splashing all over the place so please guys it's a myth so you just have to put the new air filter this side uh, will be down okay so you just have to put it down like that Make sure it, it sits properly, and then once it sits properly, we want to. Okay, now you, you just clamp it back there, and then here, Brenna, come in and this side. Put the clamp right here. There you go. Make sure there is no gap. And that's all there is to it, guys. There is it's super easy. And you just have to uh, discard the old engine uh, air filter. So yeah, you have to do this uh, every oil change. And the last time I didn't do it. And I can hear that the car is struggling because the engine air filter is dirty. Yeah, this is going to give you a little, uh, going to give your car a little bit uh, better breathing for the engine uh, it's gonna be, bring a better airflow to the engine and you're gonna notice a little bit improvement when you drive the car so anyway uh, if you haven't subscribed to my youtube channel please click the subscribe button and give the, this video a thumbs up and share it to your friend who wants to learn how to change the engine air filter to their Toyota Corolla anyway love you guys bye